the simulator class has uh, uh, three important parts uh, the uh, constructor uh, the, um, the populate method and the um, uh, simulate one step method uh, the um, constructor is uh, responsible for constructing all the other parts so the field the um, lists that will contain the different kinds of animals uh, and uh, the graphical interface uh, and uh, after all this is set up uh, then uh, the populate method is called uh, indirectly uh, through a call to reset uh, and this uh, method will uh, create the initial state uh, of the um, simulation uh, by uh, using different pro uh, probabilities of uh, um, to determine uh, uh, what the initial population should be for each kind of animal in a particular field and the uh, age uh, for each animal is uh, set uh, at random uh, because um, this would uh, give um, uh, more accurate uh, um, basically uh, it, it is a random initial age um, gives uh, serves two purposes one is that uh, it gives a more accurate simulation of uh, um, um, of the population because uh, it uh, uh, would represent uh, um, a real initial state uh, and the second uh, reason is that if uh, uh, all animals uh, um, uh, start with an age uh, of uh, zero um, then uh, it will be um, then uh, the uh, population of uh, uh, rabbits uh, can uh, die off because they uh, don't uh, um, don't uh, um, give birth to other uh, rabbits until uh, they um, they hit the breeding age. Uh, so other or. or uh, the foxes uh, uh, die uh, die off because they uh, they are not uh, um, that much um, and cannot reproduce uh, to um, to eat the rabbits that that that. Uh, that grow in population um, it, it, and because there is no limit uh, for um, uh, the age of the fox to, to eat a rabbit then uh, this um, situation will, will happen that uh, either the uh, rabbits all die off or uh, the foxes uh, uh, die of hunger uh, so uh, to see what happens when um, um, the, the
the age of the animals uh, is initially set to zero of all animals instead of at random uh, what has to be changed the populate method Is it the populate method that does that? Uh, I don't know how to change the age in here. Um, oh, okay, so there is a parameter uh, that uh, deals with these so if random age is false then the age uh, stays zero okay so yes age is initialized to zero and then if random age is true then uh, it will be assigned a new way a new age that it is random but if I keep uh, the parameter false then uh, it will leave age at zero so let's make bot false so bot start from zero the rabbits and the foxes and let's see what happens uh, whether it will lead to um, a, a catastrophic uh, uh, solution. So We have to uh, run it for a good amount of time to see what happens. So it seems that, yeah, I think that after uh, some initial steps uh, to I think after the first 50 steps it is uh, true for sure that uh, uh, the animals have reached the, the breeding age so they can reproduce so even this amount of step is of steps is already very big but I think that there is no catastrophic result uh, for this but maybe if the field is divided uh, in two parts mm, maybe the situation will change let's see with half the size
Let's do 500 steps is enough. But it looks good. It doesn't have any difference uh, from before when the initial uh, age was random. I don't see very much difference and I don't see anything that can lead to a catastrophic result. Trying again. No, it seems that there are no catastrophic results. Uh, ten. Uh, if only uh, the rabbit start from the age of zero and the initial age of the foxes is uh, random uh, then what will be observed well so basically uh, the population of rabbits uh, will grow uh, large while the fox population uh, will uh, remain uh, very small and uh, so what will happen uh, after uh, also the foxes have reached the breeding age um, let's see I think it will um, it will con the simulation will continue as normal. So there is this big growth of uh, rabbits, and then everything uh, uh, balances off. Try again. So yes. So the rabbits grow large, and the foxes, um, yes, they stay very small, but they they uh, they don't. Uh, die off that quickly uh, that they cannot uh, um, reach the, the the breeding age so uh, what implications can I draw from this um, well, I think it, I mean, uh, an important implication is that um, uh, foxes uh, have a long enough life uh, to they have a long enough life so that. Uh, uh, they can still uh, survive through generations uh, even when there are other competing uh, animals in the, in, in the um, in the field. So basically, uh, 
what can I conclude from this is that uh, the uh, if some foxes are um, um, separated into two different fields, it would not be um, something uh, relevant um, for the um, um, it would not be relevant uh, for the uh, population to survive. I mean, um, how can I say this? Um, so the conclusion is that uh, if foxes uh, are um, put in an uh, um, in an environment uh, that uh, has all foxes or young foxes or old or old foxes uh, it doesn't uh, affect the future population the future population will uh, be able uh, to to exist 